darkest night when rivers become tidal i use my list to break the pain hoping for survival i don't want to lose my sight but my mind is caving in all right all right a lot to you, doesn't it? It means a lot to us, yeah. Good for you. Howie. So listen, the audience loves you. Um, you have great voices, great harmony, but personally... Um, <laughs> this was a great song in a pub. If I was in a bar and you guys were playing, I would have the best night ever. They agree. Okay. Heidi. I like the song. Thank you, Heidi. The harmonizing sounded really good to me. I thought it was a nice song. Nice. Yeah. Are we looking for great? I think it's great. My favorite part was the beginning when you guys started singing together. I love you. I think people love you. Yep. I am going to agree with Heidi and Sophia. You can't fake how you feel. And I really felt that. I thought that your vocals were great. The harmonies were great. I love the song. And this is absolutely the right thing you've done to come on here yeah. because I think people are going to really like you. Okay, we're going to vote. Heidi. Well, I'm going to give you a first yes. How about that? Second yes. Didn't blow me over, so it's a no. Let me be honest. I don't think you booed loud enough. Boo! This is on behalf of us, the audience. This is your third yes that gets you through. Thank you guys so much.
Mario community. I can see this. But he might be one day. Uh, might, he might win him over. Hello. Hi. Well, that was a good reaction. You haven't even done anything yeah. yet. How are you? Well, good, thank you. Just give me your name and age just starting with you, please. I'm Jacob. I'm 14 years old. OK. I'm Noah, and I'm 15. Good. I'm Tom. I'm 15. Good. I'm Jake, and I'm 15. OK, so I'm guessing you are a band? Yeah. Yes. Got it. OK, what are you called? Chapter 13. Who put you together, or did you put yourself together? We were all in School of Rock, uh, the musical, together. Oh, OK. Cool. Whose idea was it for you to be your own band? Um, well, me and Noah shared a room. Um, yeah. We all just always just sort of imagining, you know, what it would be like to be in a band, and then we'd start talking to these two, and then... Good for you. <laughs> OK, well, listen, good luck. Hope this goes great. Thank you very much. Thank you. They look great, don't they? I don't think I've ever seen four young musicians so together. The drummer, you were amazing. The guitar playing was spot on. Some of the faces you were pulling were fantastic, you especially. <laughs> I just think you are absolutely incredible, and now you've just got to win the whole show. <laughs>
fantastic. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. That's brilliant. So good. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Honestly, the musicianship that I just yeah. saw was outstanding. Yeah. Your skill level is so impressive. Congratulations, Amanda. Well done. Thank you very much. David? It was so refreshing that you were so brilliant. And also, they were original versions of those songs. It was faultless, guys. You came, you conquered. Thank you. This is so well deserved, what you just had. You know, I can imagine kids watching the show, 12, 30, 14, 15, whatever, and going, God, I would love to be in that, because that is more fun than being at school. <laughs> I think what's really exciting is, the last time I remember seeing and hearing something like this was a band called Busted. That was fantastic. Hello, who are you please? We're True Villains, we're an original band based out of Nashville, but we're actually from all over the country. We got Tim from New York. We got Greg from North Carolina. Greg. Barry from Florida. Hi Barry. I'm Bo, I'm from Minnesota. Bo. And uh, Matt right here is from right here in California. Matt. Hi Matt. Yeah. Why did you decide to come on the show this year? Well, my mother's been a huge fan of the show since day one, believe it or not. She's actually here tonight, Where is somewhere she? over here. Stand up. There she is. That's brilliant. And what's your mum's name? Her name's Joan. Thanks, Joan. And how did you feel when she said, you know what, I think you should come on AGT? It took her a couple years to persuade me. That's <laughs> <Two you know. laughs> I love yeah, that. But here we are, and we're, it's a huge blessing to be able to have this audience. Well, it's brilliant to have bands like this on the show as well. I'm absolutely thrilled. Seriously. We're excited. Joan, thank you again. What's your name, please? We are We Three. Okay. And uh, we're a sibling band from McMinnville, Oregon. What's your name? My name is Joshua. How old are you, Joshua? 27. 
And you are? My name's Bethany and I'm 24. And I'm Manny and I'm 21. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And who are you here with today? A lot of our family. A lot of our family, they're all up there. You see them? And our dad. Our dad. Yeah. Okay, now tell me the story about you guys. Well, our dad had a family band with his siblings and we kind of decided to do the same thing. I like that. What's the song and what's it about? It's about our mother who passed away from cancer about two years ago. And it's a song written from her perspective, kind of talking to us in like her last month. Wow. Oh, well, listen, best of luck, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. and I'm the lead singer of our band, ASD Band. Amazing. And, and what does ASD stand for? Autism Spectrum Disorder, and we're all autistic. Wow, okay. Oh. We're different, but not less. And we all have abilities here that'll blow your mind oh. right on this very stage. Yes. Oh. I don't doubt it. Well, I mean, this is the stage that makes dreams come true, so we wish you the very best of luck. Thank you so much, and thanks for having us. Of course, the stage is yours. Thanks for being here. Taking those losses if it treats you right I wanna put you into the spotlight If the world would only know what you've been holding back Heart attacks every night
You are truly remarkable. Listen, it's wonderful that you are removing the stigma from what people think being on the spectrum is or what people think being on the spectrum holds you back from doing without knowing that about you. I promise you, everybody in this room would have still been on their feet. You are incredibly talented. Thank you so much, Howie. You're exactly what this show is about. I have many family members on the spectrum, and so it makes me so happy when you know, people like you take the stage because that's what the show is about. It's about representation, it's about taking away the gatekeepers. But I do want to emphasize that aside from all of that, you're also musically talented. Congratulations, that was epic. Thank epic. you. My job as a judge is to sit here and look for talent. And I have to say, after that performance, ASD's got talent. Shall we start voting? Yeah, go for it. Thank you for allowing me to give you your first yes. It is my absolute privilege to give you your second yes. And it's a yes for me. <laughs> First time in the entire audition, goosebumps from head to toe. Now, I feel like an idiot because I feel like crying or something. <laughs> that was absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you guys created a moment that I'm very thankful that I'm a part of. It was like I wasn't here judging you. I was just here as a paid member to come and see your concert. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uncle Jed, wow, I feel privileged to have heard that. And the connection between the three of you 
is is really beautiful. Oh, cool. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, your voice was silky. It was amazing. Thank you. I can see your whole, you know, energy between you, which is rather different, actually. Yeah. So it's really nice. Thank you. Okay, we're going to vote now. Okay. It would be a pleasure to have you guys on this show. So yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You guys together, are incredible. Your voice has got to be. I'm happy to say one of the best I've ever heard in this country. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Two yeses. Three yeses. Why don't you just go and tell Uncle Jed that it's four yeses? Next to me. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Next to me. Gentlemen, you've come to the right place. You're at America's Got Talent, where I'm still looking for a great rock band, and it looks like you might deliver. What's the name of this combo? We are the American Hitmen from Salt Lake City, Utah. How'd you boys meet? Uh, three of us up front here. Uh, we're in the United States Marine Corps. And nice. We were actually... Thank you. Now, we were actually serving in Fallujah, Iraq, and we used to play with acoustic guitars after missions, and that's where we met Jay, our bassist, and uh, the rest is history. First of all, thank you for your service. You are brave men. Let's see if you have the goods. Let's see if you can really play. All righty. All right. You guys ready for some rock and roll? two seasons to find a band that could go all the way to the top. I believe you're a true contender. You're that good. Not only are you a great singer, sir, but your guys here are a great musical band. You know how to play. You guys had a great stage presence, great rock music, great audition. Thank you I very much. Think. Good stuff. I loved it. I thought that you were really cool. I loved your confidence and the way you were singing, walking around. I was I confident until you started talking and looking directly at me, and now I'm not. <laughs> You're beautiful in person, by the way. Uh, thank you. Don't forget about me. When I come, I want to be in the front row. Heidi, I will never forget about you. <laughs> so listen. Great job. Thank I loved it. Much. This is what this show needs. You're great musicians. And when I was listening to you and watching you, I just thought, you guys have a real connection. It's because we're brothers. This is my older brother, Dan. Oh, wow. wow. So two brothers from the same family went over and were fighting together. Yes, sir. But you made it back. You and did. We're so glad you did because yeah, you're cool. here. You know, that's amazing. 
America's Got Talent is all about because the trip from a smoke pit to the stage at Radio City Music Hall and possibly $1 million can only happen right here on America's Got Talent. All right. Thank you very much. All right, guys, let's go. Howie, why don't you start it up? Oh, yes. Mel B. I think you're cool. I love your message. I love your audition. It's a yes for me. Ivy. I really like you guys. I mean, it's a yes. He did have great confidence the way he was singing. Got you sing, too. One step closer to your dream. Uh, how's it feel? Uh, it's just unbelievable. <laughs> I've been waiting my whole life. I'm totally going to cry right now. It's, it's, it's okay. Soldiers <laughs> cry. Yeah, this is all I've ever wanted, man. <laughs> yeah. It means a lot. And to know you're one step closer, man. Hell yeah. Tell you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. man. Hello. We are the Talento from Thailand. And how old are you? I am 11 years old. 11 years old and you are? 12 years old. Okay, well what are you guys going to do? Are you guys going to play a song for us, yeah? Yes. And what kind of music do you guys listen to? Rock. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Alright, Talento. I love to see what you guys are going to do. The stage is yours. Good luck. Thank you. This is going to be loud. You guys are so much fun to watch and obviously very, very talented, each and every one of you. I had a lot of fun watching. That was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. <laughs> and Goon? I love that. You actually salute us. You're like the most polite rockers. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how you have accomplished this. But at the ages of 11 and 12, I believe you are a real, real rock band. So bravo. Thank you. Let's take a vote. 
Mr. Foster? Hardcore, yes. Thank you. Melanie? A rock and roll, yeah. And Goon. Uh, yeah! Thank you. Well, Talent Toad, you can go back to Thailand and tell everybody you got four. Yeah! Congratulations, you guys. That was uh, strangely uh, refreshing. Yeah. yeah. Right? It was. They were yeah. better than some of the other bands. Yeah. They're real musicians. Yeah. Howdy. Who do we have here? <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Well, hello. Let's start with the introduction. Who are you, please? My name is Joey. I'm Austin Edwards. OK. And the group is? Broken, Broken Roots. Roots. Broken Roots. And where are you from, guys? Chicago, Illinois. And how old are you both? I'm 37. I'm 44. OK. Is this what you do as a day job? No. I'm actually a homicide detective in the Chicagoland area. Wow. I was in law enforcement for quite some time as well. I recently resigned because I'm going to be opening up a music school for kids. So this is how you met, yeah? Through what? No. no. In, in our job, we see a lot of things that, quite frankly, we don't want other people to see. Got it. And our outlet became music yeah we ended up playing the same circuit for quite some time and then randomly he came to a show we ended up clicking and so we came together to form broken roots literally we met six months ago and uh this will be the first time we will play together ever first time i love that well let's see if the next two or three minutes can change your lives thank you so much for having us you guys Family of kids? Yes, both of us. Yeah? How yes. old? I have a seven year old boy and a beautiful 22 month old baby little girl that's my heart. Congratulations. Oh, man. Um, I was previously married and I had two sons, Noah and Jacob. They are now 9 and 11. She passed away of cancer. What? Yeah. And I had recently met somebody um, years later. We now have a baby girl together. So now I have three kids moving forward. I'm really sorry to hear that. 
and again, I, I feel so bad for what you've had to go through, but, you know, this friendship and everything you're doing, you know, it, it's, for me, is what I believe this show is all about. So, now we have to get to the important part. Uh, let me start with Howie, please. Hopefully this helps you, yes. Heidi? It's a definite yes for me. Sophia? I'm your third yes. Thank you. You got four yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Standing ovation, and you haven't done anything. <laughs> well, who doesn't love country music? <laughs> All right, okay, let's start with who you are, please. Okay, we are a band called Steel Panther. Panther. Steel Panther. Let me just say before we go on, we decided backstage uh, to give Sophia and Heidi tickets to Steel Panther for life and backstage passes included. Wow! Yeah. Not, not trying to influence the judging in any way. Okay. I want to know everything about you guys, the band, everything, please. Oh, this is Spider. He plays the bass. Hello. My name's Michael Starr. I'm the lead singer. Hello. I'm Satchel. I play guitar and I book all the flights. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I'm Styx. I'm the drummer. Welcome. Uh, is this something you do full time? We do it full time. We've got six full length studio albums out, and we've got a couple of live records out. Yeah, now. live DVD too, as well. And this is the best way to reach so many other people who have never seen this before and teach them the ways of heavy metal. Heavy metal. And we just wanted to come on the show because we want to, we want to win. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no more questions. Thank you so much for coming up. All right, cool. Enjoy. I love this. We're here early. We're here for the sound check. <laughs> Woo! Here we go. I see you up there. Three, two. She said, 
everyone. You all right? Hello. Hi, welcome, guys. How are you? Very good. We're good. feeling a bit better now that we're on stage. Well, who put the group together? Um, I guess it was me. I was kind of doing my own thing, and then I knew what these two guys did, and then I asked them to help me out of it, and then it just evolved, and then we become a band, like, naturally. So you're playing gigs and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Like, all the time. All the time. We're still pretty small time, but... Like... <laughs> OK, well, best of luck, guys. Can we swap, because I feel yeah. like the Gallaghers? <laughs> Um. <laughs> Come on, lads. I really um. want this to be good. I'm love sick and I'm sick of this love game, and I'm tired of hearing I'm the one to blame. And I'm sick of this love game But I give in, I'm the one to blame And I'm sick of you telling me to go and get dressed As if I'm the man you're here to impress her. I was crumbled like apple pie When you left my flat only wearing a goodbye In your bag all my Ralph Lauren tops On your feet were my brand new workout Reeboks You turn and smile them come to bed eyes But all I could think of was all them pork pies You kept on telling me night after night And you just open up after every fight I'm sick and I'm sick of this love game I'm tired of hearing I'm the one to play I'm sick of you telling me to go and get dressed As if I'm the man you're here to impress on I'm sick and I'm sick of this love game I'm tired of hearing I'm the one to play And I'm sick of you telling me to go and get dressed As if I'm the man you're here to impress on Alicia. You know what, guys? I liked you from the minute you walked onto the stage because your personalities are just shining in abundance. You look like you're having fun. I love the fact that you're just British. I think the three of you blend brilliantly together. I think you're my favourite act so far. Really, really enjoyed you. Well done. David? Yeah, yeah, I agree with Alicia about your personalities. You made me think of like Madness or I the Kinks. I know, but it's like a great yeah. London band. Yeah. If you brought an album tomorrow, I'd buy it. Exactly what David said was what I was thinking. It was like listening to a Madness record again. And I like the fact that you've got the ukulele. Everything seems really well balanced on this group. And you're very confident. I like that. And you look good. You I look really, really good. Oh, well. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to vote. David? Very easy decision. It's a yes. I love you guys. It's a yes from me. That's two. Come on, make it three. Guys, you've got three yeses. Congratulations. Like a group that had, should have their own TV show. They loved you guys. There's nothing else like nothing you. Nothing else man. like you. David will buy your album tomorrow. <laughs> you must be thrilled. That's yeah. ten pounds. Mate. In the back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they think that's a great name as well. Love yeah, it. I like it. Well done, Pat. Well done. Come on, let's have a good one. Well done. Well done. Well done. Congrats. See you next Go and celebrate. Thanks, boys. Well done. Oh, perfect. Just what every middle-aged man wants to see: a whole heap of young, good-looking guys that are musicians. <laughs> Not my thing. He doesn't like competition, fellas. <laughs> what are you going to sing for us? Uh, we're going to sing an original song called Oceans. Okay, are you ready to see it? Yeah. <laughs> Go hard, let's see it. We we'll see the sunrise in every city light from the ocean I call. Take my hand again.
Well, I suppose that was all right. <laughs> when the audience is cheering all the way through the song and loving it and standing up at the end of it, then uh, that's a no-brainer to me. I thought you did a great job. Nice work, fellas. Thank you. That was brilliant. I love that song. It really sort of sounded like a big commercial hit and you're thinking, have I heard that before on the radio? And that's a really good sign. This year, it is the fiercest competition for bands, but you guys are in the running. Thanks so much. Yeah, it was a good song. You're, you've got a good voice. And you did your job, what you're supposed to do today, which is to impress an audience like that. OK. Let's decide your fate. Do we need another band? Yes from me. Don't know what's going on, but Perth is rocking. It's a yes. Three yeses. Thanks so much. Hey, y'all. Yes, he's so cute. Hello. How are you? I'm doing very well. How are you? Well, very nice to meet you. And who are you? I'm Drake Milligan from Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. How old are you, Drake? I'm 23. I'm guessing you're going to be singing today. Yes, sir, I will be singing. How do I know? You're amazing. I don't know how you do it, Simon. Don't ask. <laughs> now, I'm presuming that you gig around, I mean, the state or the country? Well, I'm based out of Nashville now. I've been recording my own songs here lately and, and been out with my band. We've been on the road and, and making stories and telling lies. And... Yep. Out of interest, how many, are, how many roughly new artists get signed in Nashville per year, do you think? It's not very many. It's not, is it? So you think this is the platform to showcase your talent best? Absolutely. I mean, back in the day, uh, Elvis had the Ed Sullivan show, right? And, and yep. the Beatles did too. And I, yep. and I see this uh, uh, kind of on the same scale of that, uh, almost bigger, way bigger. Wow. And you have a lot of people behind us to tell if you're any good or not. They know a lot more than record companies do. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. We always say three minutes, hopefully, will change your life. Let's see what happens. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ready, boys? Staying too long at the honky tonk, spending too much just to tie one on. A little less right and a lot more wrong. Sounds like something I do. Calling in sick when a fish are biting. Taking those curves with the gravel flying. Keeping one eye on the next horizon. Sounds like something I do. I never had. And later maybe getting one kiss and going half crazy Sounds like something I do I 
That's an original, right? I guess so it is. I think that song's a hit. Thank you. And I think that you're a hit. You're like the new Elvis of country. I think you're gonna break out from this particular song, this particular moment, on this particular night. Thank you very much. Thank you. I loved it. I also love that you guys are a, a band. We don't have a lot of bands yet, you know, this season, so I think you are perfect for America's Got Talent. Perfect combination. The song was amazing. You are amazing. And I think America's gonna go crazy. The girls are going crazy. Sometimes when we get bands on the show, for whatever reason, it just really honestly does sound like a mess from the minute it starts. With you, it was the opposite. I think this performance should make a difference to what you're doing, because people are going to like you. The song uh, was really, really good as well. It was really authentic. That's what I liked about it, because um, I know so much about country music. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, for me, a good song is a good song, and everything worked everything. for you today. And you're very likeable. We haven't got to know the rest of you yet, but I'm sure you are. They are. They are. Okay, right, we're gonna vote. Howie? Yes. Howie. It's a yes from me. Sophia. Yes. That means you got four yeses. Congratulations. Thank you guys so much. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. He's a star, yes. and that song is going to be a hit. I bet they're going to go to the finale. What does this mean to you right now? Man, this is all. This is like everything I've been dreaming since, since I was a kid, man. I've been dreaming to stand on that stage. And we got four yeses, <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm shocked right now. I can't believe it. <laughs> Hello. Welcome, both of you. Let's hear your names, please. I'm Stuart Walker. And I'm Jenna Walker. We're or, brother and sister. OK. And where are you from? We're Toronto, from. Canada. Woo! That's my country. What kind of music are you into? Country music. Country, brilliant. Right. Do you write your own songs? We do. We're actually going to perform an original song. It's called People Don't Talk About. And tell me what it's about. We wrote this song probably two years ago. Our family's been through a lot of stuff that we kind of didn't feel comfortable talking about. And we wrote it about that. We felt like if we had this opportunity to get on this stage, and if we had one song to play, this would be the song. This is the one. I said 17 would have loved to hear this song. That's really important. And do you think you're going to win? We've been chasing this dream for a long, long time, and we feel like it's just the right moment. And timing sometimes is everything, right? Exactly, yeah. Exactly. We're all rooting for you, so best of luck. Thank you. I like it when a group is a family. Yeah. I think they're going to be good. Right. I grew up playing cowboys. I like to play pretend. A bunch of kids in a backyard. Back when it made sense We would speak our minds And say just what we meant That was the old me Nobody told me 
that everything changes. Reality sets in. You better keep quiet if you want to fit in. People don't talk about when it's 2 a.m. You're talking to yourself again. You're digging a hole. You're digging a hole. People don't talk about trying to be yourself, but feeling like you're someone else. You're not alone. You're not alone. Oh, I want to know everything that you don't say out loud. Yeah, all the things that people don't talk about. Take a breath, say it all, then say the rest. If you let it out, you can let him in. Take a load off, take a breath, say it all, then say the rest. If you let it out, you can let him in. People don't talk about when it's too late. Talking to yourself again, you're digging a hole, you're digging a hole. Um, Howie, you're on your feet. First of all, your singing and your writing is impeccable. And I don't usually respond to lyrics like I'm responding to this. You know, I've been very open. My little soapbox is mental health. And there's a stigma attached. And the thing that allows me to survive is the ability to talk about it. This song is an important song. And I think that you are going to go a long way in this competition. Wow. Yeah, I liked it too. I like the song. I love that you're siblings. I also feel that you really want it, and I feel like you deserve it. Wow. Thank, Thank you. you. You did the right thing coming tonight to AGT because it was like a, a big treat for all of us. It was impeccable. Thank well, you. thank you. Thank you guys so much. That was a great, great audition. Seriously good unbelievably powerful. That song was stunning. So, Howie, yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay, that makes it four yeses. Congratulations. Because really that did. song means so much to us, just from what we've been through as a family in terms of mental health, and that's what, what was important to us. For, for how he didn't point that out immediately, it was shocking because that's the whole point. Listen, everybody here got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank You're you. amazing. One last question before you play: Who's your favorite artist? David Post. <laughs> All right, let's do it, shall we, girls? <coughs> let's go.
Okay, look, girls, you're cute. But if you want to be real rockers, you need to steady it. It's too formulated. You play okay, but it's too gimmicky. You need to get down, roll in the dirt, and be real rockers. But you can't be in between like this. It's, it's very contrived, and it was entertaining, but it's not rock. So shall we vote? Uh, Venice? For me, it's... Uh, it's easy yes, yes. Nay, yes. No? In the name of girl power. <laughs> it's a yes from me. For me right now, it's a no. So, Angun, remember, we're looking for a star for the world. Who are you guys? Uh, we're the Wolf Brothers. We're from Tasmania. Don't hold that against us. <laughs> Colour Tassies. Um, yeah, mate, we're, we're a country rock band and we're here to, uh, yeah, hopefully give you guys a bit of a good time. You know, it's a little bit hard sort of trying to get over here and, and do shows and, and push it out. So we're here to, you know, hopefully make some new fans. And, so and this is, a, is an important audition for you right now, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> what would it mean to you to win the show? Oh, mate, it, it, you know, it'd make a few dreams come true, let me tell you. Yeah? <laughs> We'd finally have some money. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I hope it goes well for you Thanks, boys. Thanks, mate. Go for it. Cheers, guys. We've never had a great rock band even come close to winning this show. I think, after watching that, you could be the first people who could possibly win this show. That's a rock band. It just looked established. It didn't look like an audition. This looked like this was your crowd, your show, and we were at your concert. This is the kind of thing I want to see every single day on this show. I love it. Absolutely love it. That was fantastic, and it is definitely the year of the rock band. You guys are tight, it's hot, you're rocking. Now's the important part where we vote. I think myself, Danny, and every single person in this room can all say it at the same time. One, two, three, yes! Thank you very much, folks. Thank you. Woo! Hello. Hi, guys. Hi. The name of the band? Luminites. Luminites. <coughs> and you're from? Uh, we're based around the M25. OK. What, do you live on the hard shoulder? Literally. <laughs> OK, well, best of luck. 
Alright, you ready? Let's go. First you take on my heart in the palm of your hands and you squeeze it tight Then you take my mind and then you play with it all night You take my pride and you throw it up against the wall You take me in your arms baby and bounce me like a rubber ball <laughs> Okay, let me go to Alicia. Well, you're a ready-made band. You're fresh. I love the blend and the chemistry between you. You are solid. The beatboxing is wicked. Your voice is beautiful. Yeah. Luminites, it was amazing. It feels unique. And the harmony's perfect. It was absolutely a brilliant, brilliant audition. David? What is there not to like about you? Fantastic song. You're all brilliant musicians. You're all very easy on the eye as well. In your own ways. No, you're fantastic. I didn't mean you so much, actually. Um, but, um, no, you're like ready-made stars. The song choice was absolutely genius. Genius. Your vocals were outstanding. It's very cool. By far the best audition we've heard today. OK, we're going to take a vote. David, yes or no? Guys, it's a yes. Alicia? The easiest yes today. <laughs> Definitely a yes for me. Four big fat yeses. <laughs> Good. <laughs> She's so pretty. It's sort of She's unbelievable. She, I can't take my eyes off her. Beautiful. And her voice. Her voice is gorgeous. So we cute. Do you know what? I don't think you could get better comments than that, could you? Oh, no, no. So we're hey. delighted, man. We're absolutely over the moon. You should be. Hey, well, well done, Chris. Well done, guys. Go celebrate. Yeah. 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 Hey. Welcome to America's Got Thank Talent. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Mia Morris. Hi, Mia Morris. And how old are you, Mia? I'm 17, junior in high school. Where are you, where are you from? Nashville, Tennessee. Obviously, you go, you go to school. I do, unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately? <laughs> You're not enjoying school? School schmool, it is what it is. I agree. Ah, could live without <laughs> it, you know. That's funny. And what are you going to be doing for us tonight? 
So I'm a songwriter. I'm going to be playing one of my songs, but I'm also a multi-instrumentalist. Um, and I'm... <laughs> I'm playing as a one-woman band. How do you play as a one-woman band? How do you play everything? With this here loop pedal. Oh, looping. Explain to the people what looping is. So I like to describe a loop pedal as a recording studio at your feet. Right. I'll show you. Check. This is what a loop pedal does. This is what a loop pedal does. This is what a loop pedal does. So you record each individual sound yourself and then it plays on a loop and hopefully it comes together and, and magic and happens. And ho hopefully it comes together, yes. I love that. Is this what you want to do for a living? Like, what's the dream? My dream is to share my music and my writing with the world. Wow. Yeah. I cannot wait to hear what you do. Thank you. I like this kind of thing. I just think you're a star. I think looping is so cool. Thank you. The fact that you're playing every instrument, I could watch a concert. I could watch you doing this. I, I just love what you did. Heidi, what do you think? I thought it was a lot of fun. One woman show. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sophia? I think you're one of the coolest girls that's been standing in that stage. Simon? I think, Mia, you know, look, it was at times a bit, of, a bit of a mess, but then again, it should be. You know, it's kind of like it's all done in the moment, so therefore it's not perfect, but it shouldn't be perfect, which is why I loved it so much. Thank you. I'd rather listen to somebody like you who's original and talented rather, rather than someone who comes with some horrible backing track and <laughs> sings a song I've heard a million times. This year, it's all about originality. I can do that. We're going to vote really quickly. I'm giving you your first yes. Thank you. I give you a second yes. Thank you. I love you, yes. <laughs> Thank you. The yes just genius, Mia. Absolutely genius for you. Yes. For you.
Welcome to the 10th anniversary of America's Got Talent. Thank you for having us. You are welcome. What are your names and where are you from? Okay, my name is Jeffrey Lewis and I'm from Atlanta. My name is Zuri and I'm from Atlanta too. And together we are the Craig Lewis Band. And when did you start performing together in this band? Oh, 10 years ago now? Yeah. yeah. So you've been performing together for 10 years? Yes. Where? Everywhere. Everywhere. Especially places that give us food. Why is that? Because we love to eat, and that's the best way to do it. And what is the dream as the Craig Lewis Band? We just want to be able to sing and make people happy and, and bring a, a little inspiration to people. Okay, well, go for it. Good uh -huh. luck. Without a woman or a girl To keep us out of the dark Man made the boat on water Like no one made the earth This is a man's, a man's world But it would be nothing oh. Well, how are you stood up? There is not enough that I can do. Just hearing your voices, just hearing your passion, just experiencing the power. I cannot believe that up until now you've been working for food because I'll tell you something, you deserve a million dollar buffet. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Heidi? Thank you so much. Well, I think if you keep it going like this, you're gonna go very, very far in this competition. Loved it. Thank you. Howard. Great audition. Great song as we know. That is a legendary song. Not many people can sing that. You took something that is very difficult and you owned it. And that's what I love about you. You owned the stage. You came out here like pros. This was not amateur hour up there tonight, my friends. Yeah, really good. You both have very powerful different voices. I can understand why you both took the solo parts yourselves, which I thoroughly enjoyed and thoroughly loved. You were just, both of you, on point, out of the gate, bam. And that's what I like. So let's go. Howie? Yes! Thank you. Heidi? Yes! <laughs> Yes, for me. Yes, for me, too! These guys are real contenders. They can go far if they keep mixing it up. No, very promising, very promising. <laughs> that was, oh, my God. I was so nervous, but we did it. Hey, Terry, Terry, Terry. Uh, 
I have a, um, someone here who, um, on the internet, David Vaughn. He wants to know, Terry, I need you to do a spin around for me so I can admire that suit. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Well, there it is. I have one too. Uh, Nicole from Ohio has made a shocking observation. Take a look. What is it? What? <laughs> <laughs> Nicole. Simon, what do you think of that, man? Nicole, oh. that is spot on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. Look, as we all know by now, very occasionally, the judges disagree on something. Simon, um, are you? you are my family's favorite judge, believe it or not. I do believe it. Um, but if you had to choose between your America's Got Talent judging panel or your Britain's Got Talent oh, judging hello, panel. Hello, hello, hello. Favorite and why? Oh, well, to be fair, they are more intelligent in America. Oh, in America, in America, yeah. Uh, no, they are. I don't mean that disrespectfully. They just you are. don't mean that disrespectfully? No, they are more intelligent. <laughs> um, what, Heidi Klum? <laughs> <laughs> She's sick as pig shit. <laughs> He'll just say anything he wants. Is that you want? I said he'll be out of control now. <laughs> Taking that to a side, um, look, it's difficult. I like them both. Uh, I like these guys because they're sort of stupid. <laughs> For working on America's Got Talent or Modern Family. Ooh, that's a good one. That is true. That's true! Yes! Okay, there's really many questions already. Do you see anybody in the audience tonight that you're interested in? <laughs> it was uh, it was a very erotic dream um, that can't really be spoken about. Okay, I actually have, have had an erotic dream about one of the judges, but I won't say it is because it's embarrassing. And you know, it's weird, isn't it? When you sometimes have an erotic dream about someone, you don't know why you're having it. You go, why am I thinking about them in this way? Simon seems to think it's Alicia. <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> is it true? All I'll say is it's one of the male judges. <laughs> I gotta pee, all right? I don't know how to transition. I'm just letting you know I gotta pee, I gotta pee. You ever have to pee like real bad, like, you know, real bad, you at a public restroom, right? Right? And instead of it saying like men and women, they try to be creative, it's like a boat and a fish. You're like, which one? <laughs> Everyone's walking to the wrong restroom. Every woman in here has walked in and been like, when they put urinals inside the restroom? And every dude has walked in like, is that a couch? <laughs> they got a couch? Is that a vending machine? What kind of candy is that? That's some weird candy. <laughs> they got lotion? Why they got lotion inside the restroom? <laughs> Can't have a lotion in the men's restroom. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yeah. You know, because <laughs> we're not going to use it. It's a waste of lotion. What are y'all laughing at? What were y'all laughing at? the one thing about Simon that you don't know that you would like to know? Oh, good oh, question. No. You know everything, don't David. You? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> don't go there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? What I, like you, I like your baby. Uh, you're, you've got right a contract here. for next year. Um, you can have a two-year extension. <laughs> I would like... It, I mean, we are after the watershed, are we? Yes. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, no, oh, we're no. not. We're not after yeah. the watershed. I would like to okay. see David. David. inside <laughs> his house. Oh. He's yeah. never invited. These two girls have been to his house. Right. I, I haven't. Why, why has David never been to your house? He's scared. I don't really like him that much. <laughs> 
<laughs> and while I'm at his house, I'd like to see if. <laughs> to comment online about the show and the judges. Well, this was my favorite. Check this out. <laughs> Heidi, what do you think it is? I like that. <laughs> we do look like that. Ketchup I and mustard. I told you we did, and you didn't pay attention. <laughs> That's fine. We look yellow and red goes well together. Okay, yeah. Howie, did you have a good time last night? I had the time of my life. I had the time of my life, and I loved reading all of your comments. Somebody was amazed at the sacrifice that Big Bird had to do for her dress. <laughs> Amazing. Your oh, dress. man. Okay, he's brutal. He is brutal. Look, thank you, judges. He's got a tattoo of you on them. Obviously, David. You're going to say, David, right? Would the judge who has the tattoo please reveal themselves? <laughs> oh, 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 David, it is! Uh, yes! I have a tattoo. This is the thing. Let's see the tattoo! 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 You know what? I'm not paid enough money to deal with that. Seriously? I'd tell you something. Why do you feel sick? <laughs> <laughs> but, but what is weird? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Do you want to... 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 Do you Oh, I've just had the best time. Oh, well, oh, uh, uh, and uh, us too. <laughs> Heidi, I love Howie, I love you. Simon, yeah, it's been great. <laughs> no, I've loved it. I've absolutely loved it. You we've me? loved having you here. See? I hate to admit it, but we Really? Have. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because, you know, Simon, Mel B used to throw water all used over to. you I on AGT. Do. Do I still do. I still do. How's do I... it been having her sitting next to you again? Do I get the chance to do it on... No, you can't. As soon as I get back out of here, there we go. Why were people so excited about that talking dog on Britain's Got Talent? Amanda Holden's been on it for years. <laughs> and deck backstage, but I'm never quite sure which one's supposed to be the funny one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's killing us all! I got invited to come in America's Got Talent Champions. It was like all my dreams came true at once. I thought he was going to be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists? <laughs> <laughs> and that's just to maintain Simon's new look. Oh. 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 Heidi, uh -oh. my mum told me that you're a Victoria. Secret supermodel. <laughs> and she showed me one of your videos. But then Dad came home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> over and over again. I'm being Simon Cowell. Oh, 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 the best thing about being you. Well, it's cat, right? Is yeah, hi. When I was uh, at school and I was very bored. Briefly. Yeah, briefly, yeah. <laughs> I kind of thought, hopefully when I'm older, I can do a job where I have fun and I don't have horrible bosses. And now I have a job which is honestly the most fun in the world. Uh, so and that's... you are the horrible boss. <laughs> and I'm the horrible boss. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's me, Sonny Chatham. Yes. And that's the crowd loving me. <laughs> and you're loving me, aren't you? Aren't you? You're loving me. That's my Grammy. I think we need to move on to the performance now, Sonny. Okay, I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm sorry. No, we got it. We got it. It's all good. Sophie, I want you to know, I, I have a lady friend already, so it's not, it's not romantic, my intentions, oh. but I, I just wanted to meet you and say, hi, I'm Sonny, and I just, I just respect you so much. And you're, Thank you, Sonny. You're just a strong woman, and can I say hi to my lady friend, P? No, hey, 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 is there a song? Hi, P, hi, P, I love you. Who? I love you. Yeah, we don't have time. Stand up, P. I don't want to see P. Where's P? She's not here. She's taking care of her mother. She couldn't come tonight. Oh, wow. Okay. Did he just lose the will? Well, that was one of the best moments ever. We need to recreate it tonight. What? I feel bad for you guys <laughs> who actually had to film that at We're the front. In the game. So me and Stepman, we hang out. We went to an appliance store. We're leaving. We're in the parking lot. Some lady, she runs out to me. She's like, sir, you forgot this. I'm like, thank you, ma'am. It wasn't mine. <laughs> I just got nervous. I thought she was coming to tell me my transaction didn't go through. <laughs> but instead, I got hooked up with some Hoover vacuum cleaner bags. Right? <laughs> But then I'm like, what am I doing? I don't steal. I'm supposed to be a role model for Stepman here. Let me handle this. I'm going to handle this. Stepman's like, I'll handle it. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And he handled it. Stepman handled it. He went back inside of the store and stole a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Hello, I'm Natalie Cassidy. <laughs> and today, we're going to be health working out. So everyone put your hands out in front of you, spread your legs, and do some squats. <laughs> Lie down, the baby, on Martin Fowler's sofa. Isn't that right? Dog Cotton would be proud, wouldn't she? <laughs> oh, it's so nice to be here on my wee show. And today's guest is absolutely fantastic. You know what? I'm going to meet her. Hello. Oh, thanks for having me show the ring. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, I'm really nervous. Oh. And then, oh, I was on the, uh, going out of the jungle recently. Oh, my God. I mean, I saw those ones. And I was like, whoa. And then, then I saw even more ones. And I was like, whoa. And then they tried to make me eat the ones. And I was like, whoa. And I was like, whoa. And, I was like, whoa. and then I was being sick everywhere. Jamaican mother wants me to lose weight, but she doesn't know how to tell me. She's in New York, she comes to LA. You know how you see your parents, you become a child again? I'm like, oh my God, mommy! She's like, Jacqueline, Lord, I'm gonna see you fat. <laughs> Jesus, you are fat. What are you eating, people? <laughs> I don't like weight loss TV shows. If you love that show, The Biggest Loser, you and I can't be friends. <laughs> You know how that show works? If somebody's overweight, you lock them on an island, and they have to work out eight hours a day, seven days a week, and oh yeah, we're gonna make you wear a small spandex bra, and baby panties, and wear you on a scale, and for cattle, on national TV. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you lose weight? Who's losing these contests? <laughs> you want to impress me, get a bunch of fatties and lock them in a donut shop. <laughs> the first one to not go into a diabetic coma wins. That's the show <laughs> I would support. 
think it's time we open our minds, okay? I think the problem is internet keeps us in algorithms and echo chambers, so you're only surrounded by people who agree with you. So I advise if you're right wing, get left wing friends. If you're left wing, get right wing friends. If you're middle class, get working class friends. And if you're vegan, get friends. <laughs> I'm just joking, I don't want to offend any vegans. I understand that you guys can't have friends. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm making fun of vegans because they're the only group of people that will not threaten me. <laughs> me is murder, guys. But in all honesty, I, news, we're, we're breaking boundaries every day with this show and in business, right? Two Muslim men just bought Asda and people on Twitter have gone mad. I go into a debate about it. I try to tell someone, they're like, no, you don't talk to me, you muzzy. <laughs> to be honest, muzzy isn't even offensive. It's actually kind of cute. <laughs> it sounds like something you buy your kids. Like, oh, look, Darren, look what we got you. We got you a little muzzy. <laughs> let's feed it, Darren, let's feed it. Oh no, he will eat, it's Ramadan. <laughs> Broken up with, it was an open relationship. Means you can be with anybody you want. I didn't know this, apparently, the girl can also do that. <laughs> yeah, no, read the fine print. And my girl got the first person. I made the mistake of asking her this guy's name. She told me, you ever hear somebody's name and then know immediately that this person is a better lover than you? I was like, what's his name? She's like, Alejandro. I'm like, no! No! Alejandro! You, you, you couldn't be with uh, Eugene, you know? Or, or a Simon? You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. <laughs> Listen. Listen, if you're not laughing right now, if you're not laughing right now, your name is Eugene, all right? Every Eugene here is like, actually, I've heard they're pretty vigorous, okay? Yeah. So I, I met this guy, and it was a relief because his name was Alejandro, but his voice was Eugene. <laughs> Straight up, he comes over, he's like, hey man, how's it going? I'm like, much better now, all right? I've a bit of danger. Here we go, a bit of danger for you. Bowling ball juggling. It's been a while since I've done this. Been practicing during lockdown. Here we go. Silence, please. Very dangerous. Very... Round the back, round the back. <laughs> You're laughing up, police. You should <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's very funny, Amanda. Very funny, Alicia. Lovely. I'll tell you what, it's lucky that crash mat were there. If I'd fallen off over there, I could have properly hit myself. Tick <laughs> time, tick time. Unbelievable, this is madness. I'm beyond, sorry, I'm running behind now. I've been told I've got to speed up. Now, normally, this part of the act takes about 15 minutes of... It's just jokes for 15 minutes. So what I'll do, I'll do it very, very quickly. Basically, 15 minutes of gags in 15 seconds. 